Unit 4, Section C, Exercise 5 1. Hey Anna, how was your trip to Hong Kong? Great thanks, Steve. What's Hong Kong like? Gosh, it's amazing. I had a wonderful time. It's ultra-modern in so many ways. The culture is so different. <laughs> it's easy to make a mistake. Like what? Well, tell me what's wrong with this. I was at lunch with my colleague and a group of people, and someone came over to be introduced. So, I put my chopsticks into my rice bowl and turned round to speak to them. What, you shouldn't turn round at the dinner table? You mustn't show your back to anyone? No, you mustn't put your chopsticks into your rice and leave them sticking straight up. Really? Why not? Because it means someone has died. It is only done at funerals and is a big no-no at any other time. But how are you to know that? I don't know. It's not something we would think about, is it? Well, everybody at the table gasped. I looked up and they were either frowning or pursing their lips at me. I blushed and fidgeted. I had no idea what I'd done wrong until my colleague took my chopsticks out of my rice and put them next to my bowl. Oh dear. It seems like such a little thing. I know. I wish someone had told me. 2. Cue this side, please. Take a large tray and put all your personal items in it. Sir, please remove your shoes and belt if you're wearing one and place them in the tray. Put your watch, phone, the contents of your pockets and liquids under 100 millilitres in a bag in a separate tray. Thank you. Excuse me, where do I put my laptop? Take it out of its case and put it in this tray here. OK. Please wait to be called through the archway. Step forward, please. Oh, dear. Stand over to one side, sir. Raise your arms. Empty your pockets, sir. I have some change here. Sorry. You should have put anything from your pockets into the small tray. Pass through the archway again, please. OK. Fine. Collect your belongings from over there, sir. Three. Secret hideaway offer holidays with a difference. Peace and quiet in an unspoiled location off the beaten track. Swim in the crystal clear waters of a warm sea. Recline by a beautiful pool in lush tropical gardens. Hike up a stunning mountain trail with panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Take a boat out and tour hidden coves or snorkel through underwater caves. Be as active or as lazy as you want. Just you and nature and a little bit of luxury. Choose online from our selection of holiday destinations and go where the crowds aren't. Book your secret hideaway now. Special prices until the end of the month. Don't miss out. You know it's just the holiday you're looking for and haven't found yet, because it's secret. Shh. Four. One of the many delights of the street markets here is the sheer abundance of the different herbs and spices on offer. Just look here at the piles of turmeric, cumin, paprika and garlic. Wonderful! Also wonderful are all the snacks that you can buy, freshly cooked right here on the spot. They say the best food you can eat here in Morocco is on the street in the markets, not in the hotels or cafes. I'm going to try some of this local crusty bread called cubs with a rich fava bean soup flavoured with as much garlic as possible. You don't have to use cutlery, you can eat it with your fingers, dipping the bread into the soup. Oh my, it's delicious! You must come here and try it for yourself. <laughs> 